we'll make the trapezoid okay we'll make a boilerplate then we'll write here trapezoid and then we'll link to trap.css to style it well okay and then we are going to be making a div of trap and then uh, let's save this and let's go to trap.css but before going to that we'll go live okay and now let's go to trap.css and now we'll target our trap okay now let's set the width 400 and 100 pixels after doing something else we'll study that how does this actually looks like so this is the trapezium and uh, firstly there are four things over here right the border bottom border left border right and border top but we are not gonna take any kind of tension of border top as you can see that border bottom has the more width right in comparison of border top so we'll just like you know the border bottom will produce the color inside the whole trapezium okay so let me show you by the code firstly we are just gonna be writing border bottom right and after that inside it we'll write 40 pixels solid and we'll apply the color over here so let's apply it as black right okay so now as you can see we have applied the color in the border bottom because it has more width in comparison of all sides now we'll go to border right okay or you can go to border left also it's your choice uh, so we'll just set it for uh, let's say 15 pixels just for now 15 pixels solid and transparent right let's do alt shift down and we'll just change it as left right let's save this and let's see the result how does this look okay so we are almost done with our trapezium uh, let's increase some size okay so let's do 400 pixels let's do it for 50 pixels over here and we'll do the same for left side let's save this and let's see the result okay then we are completely done with our trapezium now it's up to you how you choose your width like you know if i choose my width as uh, 70 pixels so this will be like decrease somewhere right now this looks a perfect trapezium to me 